Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. Let me share a short thought with you today. Gone fishing. Now what? We've had Palm Sunday. We've had Good Friday. We've had Easter Sunday and the resurrection of our Lord and Saviour. So now what? How many times have you wanted to leave your problems behind? To get away from it all and hang up that sign, gone fishing. Even now, as we live with COVID-19 at our doors, gone fishing, I'm out of here, I'm done. I'm sure we've felt like that at some point. After the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, the disciples were waiting in Galilee for Jesus as he had instructed them to. He told them to go to Galilee. So off they went. Not knowing what else to do, they decided under Peter's guidance to go out and fish. Hey, we're fishermen. This is what we do. Let's go fishing. John tells it like this in his gospel. John chapter 21, and you can read the whole story there. This is verse 3 and 4. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, We're going with you also. When they went out and immediately got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. They fished and caught nothing. That was not a bad thing. Jesus wanted to prove a point. Jesus wanted to show them something, which was don't live life without the direction and blessing of God. Yes, you can have goals, plans, work hard, have dreams, but do it under the direction and blessing of the Lord. Invite him into your life, into your plan. Ask him to direct it, lead it and guide it. So often we think, don't we? Hey, it's my life, my family, my job, my house, my money. I'll do what I want to do. And we forget that we belong to God. We forget to involve him in what we're up to. We need to remember that God is on our side. He is so gracious. He is so loving. He wants to guide and direct your steps, my steps, our steps. Do you know that? Do you have that realization? God cares and God has plans for you. God has a custom design plan for your life. In Psalm 37, we read these words, verse 23 and 24. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall. For the Lord holds them up by the hand. God is holding us up. God is directing our life. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's different. But God is on our side. Keep that in mind as you think about your day, as you think about your future. Say, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now, today, next week, next month? Lord, hear my prayer. I don't want to go fishing and pull up empty nets. I want you to direct me. I want you to guide me. Where is God leading us? What is he saying to us? 
as we work with a new rhythm to our day and life. I pray he meets you in that place and in that space. Be open to his word. Be listening for his voice. Be in prayer. God lead us. God bless you. I look forward to chatting with you soon.